wars, and why are they recurrent? They are a state of armed conflict between different countries or different groups within a country, and they are considered recurrent for the simple idea of self-interest. Every state has its goal, its aim, and its way of development. However, when the state is at threat of losing war, it might take risks like maybe running away. A theory that falls within the Antarctica spectrum is heavily related to war, especially World War II. There has been some speculations that Hitler fled to Antarctica where the Nazis prepared a secret base for him, but based on what exactly? The conspiracy theory surrounding Hitler's supposed Antarctic base is partially rooted in historical events. Hitler did indeed send a German expedition to Antarctica in 1938, primarily for the purpose of acquiring whale oil. However, since 1947, this expedition has been subject to speculation among conspiracy theorists, some of whom suggest that the Nazis may have used this opportunity to establish a secret military base beneath the ice. According to these theories, elite Nazi officials might have sought refuge there after the war. Despite lacking concrete evidence, the presence of German U-boats in Argentina following Germany's surrender in 1945 has contributed to rumors of Hitler's potential survival and escape. The fate of Hitler remains a persistent mystery in modern history. A body believed to be his has been preserved in Russia since the end of war. Some say Hitler didn't kill himself but died bravely fighting in a battle. Others are sure he got away living with a different name in Argentina or Brazil. There are even people who think Hitler went to the moon or hid deep underground. But French scientists have checked these stories, looking at bits of Hitler's skull and teeth that were saved, and comparing them to old records from when he died. They say, there's no doubt about it. We've shown he died when he was 45. He didn't run away or hide. He died. We can put an end to all these stories. He didn't escape to Argentina, hide in a secret base in Antarctica, or live on the dark side of the moon. According to this theory, the Nazis fought British and American military forces, including shooting down US planes with flying saucers, until the Americans allegedly destroyed the base with nuclear weapons in the 1950s. Since then, it is claimed that various governments have worked to conceal this supposed event. What reignited the questions surrounding this theory is a Facebook user that shared the discovery on the 30th of July, 2023. He claims to have stumbled upon a potential hidden Nazi bunker after spotting what appears to be a mysterious door concealed in Antarctica. The picture shows a dark square shape that looks like a hidden door on the eastern side of the big ice field. People who believe in conspiracy theories have been guessing what this door could be for. Some think it might lead to a secret base run by the US government, while others say it could be a bunker used by the Nazis as mentioned. Can all this be relied on? In their paper titled, Hitler's Antarctic Base, The Myth and the Reality. Colin Summer Hayes from the Scott Polar Research Institute in Cambridge, UK, along with Peter Beeching based in Toronto, dismantled the notion of a secret Nazi base in Antarctica using a combination of documentary evidence and personal experience in the Antarctic region. They refuse several key points of the conspiracy theory. The brief nature of the Germans' pre-war visit to Antarctica focused on whaling, the small and observational nature of the British force in Antarctica during the war, and the logistical impossibility of German U-boats reaching the Antarctic coast during the winter due to pack ice. Additionally, they point out inconsistencies among proponents of the theory regarding the location of the alleged base and whether Hitler was transported there or not. So, if the hidden door did not lead to Hitler's hideout, what could it be? Or is there something else we're missing? Antarctica has always been a huge subject ever since the Second World War as previously mentioned, and there's more information hidden, ones that were revealed by the US themselves. Some people say that back in 1946 and 1947, the USA went on a mission to Antarctica called Operation High Jump. They claimed the Americans wanted to find and destroy a secret German base hidden in the icy land. Some even think they were after Hitler himself. Now, here's where it gets creepy. 
They say the Americans got this idea from questioning German sailors in 1945. These sailors supposedly revealed information about huge underground bases in Antarctica where the Germans were making super advanced planes and weapons. That's where the US decided to go on a hunt. Operation High Jump was massive, involving over 4,700 men, 33 planes, and 13 ships. It was led by Rear Admiral Richard Cruzen, with Rear Admiral Richard Byrd overseeing things. The mission had some official goals like testing equipment in the freezing cold and claiming more land for the USA. However, here's the chilling part. Some believe it was really about preparing for a war with the Soviet Union. They thought the Soviets might attack from the North Pole, so they wanted to be ready. The whole operation was part of a larger plan to train the Navy for polar warfare. It came right after some smaller training missions. They wanted to make sure they were ready for anything, even if it meant going to the ends of the Earth. Newspapers at the time talked about how important this was for America's defense. They said being able to supply troops in extreme cold was crucial for the country's safety. It's like they were hinting at some darker, scarier future where the Poles could decide who wins and who loses. High Jump was in a secret mission like Tabarin, where Britain became worried about the possibility of enemy forces using Antarctica as a base. They were concerned that the Germans might try to establish secret weather stations there to help with their military operations. In Operation High Jump, there were 11 journalists on the ships, keeping track of each and every detail of this operation. They sent over 2,000 messages to Radio Washington during the expedition. Some crew members even wrote books about their time there. Despite all this attention, some still thought this mission was hiding something sinister. The official report of the operation was pretty detailed, covering everything from aviation to cargo handling. Comparing the Navy report to a Bird's article in National Geographic, it seems like everything was out in the open. There's no sign that they were hiding anything about a German threat. If they were really after a German base, they would have focused on droning mold land. But instead, they were centered on Bird's Little America 4 base on the Ross ice shelf. The expedition faced delays and bad weather, so they couldn't explore droning mold land much. There was no plan to spend six months there like some people thought. They left earlier than expected because of the approaching winter. Despite what some say, there's no evidence that Operation High Jump was meant to attack a German base. The Americans weren't interested in that. They were more focused on claiming territory for themselves. Is it the same German base? The one that Hitler was accused of hiding in? If it even exists in the first place? You would think it does not get more surprising, but it reached a level of abnormality. Strange creatures were spotted in Antarctica. People are diving into all sorts of records and sources to uncover more about these alien species. This information is crucial because it gives us insights into where these creatures are lurking, what kind of impact they're having and how many of them are out there. But here's where it gets eerie. There are still some places shrouded in mystery, one of which is Antarctica. The icy expanse at the bottom of the globe. It is like a vault of secrets, managed under a special international agreement that limits our access and knowledge about the strange creatures that might reside there. Since the earliest explorers set foot in Antarctica, they've been unknowingly or sometimes intentionally bringing in all sorts of bizarre creatures from distant lands. Most of these creatures couldn't handle the harsh conditions and ended up perishing. The story changes when we look at the islands surrounding Antarctica. These islands have become landing pads for creatures from far off places, and they're wrecking havoc on the delicate balance of the local ecosystems. With the planet heating up due to climate change, their invasion is only gaining momentum. This invasion is not just a nuisance, it's a serious threat to the native plants and animals of Antarctica and its neighboring islands. Invasive species can disrupt the entire ecosystem, causing irreparable harm. That's why scientists are digging into records to uncover where these creatures have been spotted. When they first arrived, and if anyone has managed to oust them. But for these weird creatures to come into the sea, they have to get past Earth's strongest current, called the Antarctic Circumpolar Current. It's like a big shield, 
going around the continent in a circle and pushing out any floating things that tried to come in from the south. But humans figured out how to beat this current more than 100 years ago. Big ships that break through ice and tourist boats can go through these tough waters. This gives creatures from other places a chance to catch a ride from ports all around the world. In 2020, scientists found mussels from Patagonia living in the Antarctic Peninsula. They showed up in Fields Bay on the west side of Antarctic Peninsula, probably hitching a ride on the bottom of a ship. It's hard to know exactly what kind of ship bought them. More than half of the ships visiting the peninsula recently are filled with tourists, and another third are there for science. The warmer waters could bring out ecosystems that have been hidden for 25 million years. But it's really hard to say which creatures might come in and how much damage they could do. The mix of special creatures and being so isolated is different from anywhere else in the world. Even so, scientists are trying to figure out which creatures might try to come in. Overall, it's really important to keep an eye out and watch for any new arrivals to make sure they don't cause any trouble. Because this might simply cause the end of our world. Antarctica has this power. It is unspoken of for many reasons, and governments hide it fully for the sake of humanity, or for their own sake. Therefore, the real question is, are we dying because of Antarctica? Did reading this make me go through all that? <sighs> wow, the mystery behind it really leaves a mark. One that will follow me eternally. <laughs>